You know, from upgrading our facilities, we're, we're looking at bringing in a new, newer base of membership. People who want to use a resort style of swimming pool and recognizing the fitness and spa and, 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 and the products and the amenities that we're going to offer in those areas are, are what people are looking for today. You know, in this game, it's about keeping happy members and selling real estate. And so their club has to stand out among all of these uh, uh, Boca and South Florida clubs as being the best. I talked to the Board of Governors about starting to develop a strategic plan. They said we need to do something. New pool, new fitness centre, larger dining room, larger, larger car room. The social aspects of Broken Sound have grown and grown and grown. Well, the card room uh, was an interesting aspect of the overall project. You can come in right after uh, getting out of your car into this venue through a nice lobby space. We saw a unique opportunity to, to bring in um, a different style of pool, a resort style pool into a gated community. Um, we looked at you know, pools from South Beach all the way to Disney World and we said well, if we can incorporate you know, a Disney World, South Beach type of you know, South Florida feeling into a resort country club pool, we would have had a winner. And you know, within a, a 10 square mile radius here, we've got you know, got competition from our, uh, from our neighboring clubs and um, you, know, you could be looking at 10 to 15 gated communities around here and each one of us has to stand out differently. If I was to take a survey of the membership just on the pool, I mean, when I say it's a world-class swimming pool resort area from the restaurant bistro right through to, to, the, to the, the hot tub, through to the, the water slide for the kids, I would suspect we would get a, an, a, a, an A plus in grading. It's been absolutely nothing short of fantastic. The, the membership approval um, from the high fives that have been given to, to myself to, to the standing ovations our, our board members have received through the process. I look at relationships as very, very important in, 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 in this area. But presenting your credentials to my board was, was very important and, and their respect for the position that I held here in, in saying, let me represent you know, whites in, in, in the, an integrity basis, in, in, a, in a basis of um, completing and, and, and doing what they say. And I think you know, when, you, when you look at um, a successful project like what we think we have here, it comes down to one thing, and that comes down to communication. To be able to make decisions that need to be made on, on, on the flight at this very moment that may need them is, is what makes a, a project successful. A project that's on time, if not ahead of schedule, and certainly on budget, and I think that's what um, uh, I think White's and all the partners that were involved in this brought together. You know, I walk this club every day. I, I'm, in, I'm in every facility. I'm, 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 I'm touch, feel, I'm part of the amenities um, that are here at the club. And that's why I certainly would look at the White's construction team for, for, for future developments here at this club and, and future um, um, construction projects. And certainly future strategic facilities uh, plan that, I, that, that are important to the club. Am I happy with the, with the quality? 100% I'm happy with the quality. What I would consider one of the finest clubs there is in, in South Florida, if not in the United States. The last limousine pulled out of the parking lot at the Breakers, the Whites team hit it like it was a beachhead, uh, a, a, a force, a military force, and, and uh, was abating asbestos, tearing the old beach club down, uh, putting 256 auger cast piles into the beach. Taking the experience from that project, working with um, very tight deadlines and budgets to get the product and meet the expectation of the breakers. 
But it was only through the planning process and the permitting process prior to the construction that allowed that construction project to be built from May until November and open for that season uh, in November. The indoor-outdoor dining aspect was critical. Uh, changing the air conditioning system to respond to an indoor-outdoor environment, changing the finishes to respond, adding millwork, warming it up, changing the furnishings to respond to today's living, a little more contemporary and um, very comfortable, changing the bar area, changing the adjacent cabanas. Uh, so it turned into quite a project. Meeting that end date and meeting the budget is critical, but unless everyone is part of the success story, it's not, a, it's not a complete project. I think it's that team approach of working together uh, to make sure that that information is brought uh, to you in a timely fashion so that you can get the materials and build the project. I think the biggest compliment a client can pay to a contractor and to an architect is to invite them back. And so we have enjoyed uh, I think our firm has been there 15 years, you've been there 18 years, and so uh, to invite us back now 12 years later after the, the, the beach club was completed and said, uh, now it's time to get current with today's trends. With the success of White's in building our beach clubhouse, it really, I think, was the uh, icebreaker that said, the, have the membership say to themselves that this is really an outstanding uh, effort and uh, we want more of it. When we set out to uh, combine five buildings into one, uh, we knew we had to go vertical because uh, the site was the site. We couldn't expand into the golf course and we couldn't expand into the road that served the building. So, uh, going vertical was our only choice, but in, in a setting like Lost Tree, where everything is very serene, low scale, we couldn't go with a, you know, a multi-story building that looked multi-story. So what we did is we were able to mound the site up around it and create this stage effect out of the outdoor terraces. And so now members can sit outside and kind of look into the golf course and down into the coquina around the oak trees. and. Um, and look down the fairways instead of looking across at a golf course. The membership's looking for a place to gather. They want a sense of community, a place to connect. And the way members utilize their facility now is much different than what they did 30 years ago. Uh, as opposed to great big large parties, although they have their place right now, they're not doing as many of them. They're more smaller gatherings, a more intimate place. And so your clubhouse facility needs to have the ability to expand and contract with those varying needs. This facility certainly delivers that. One of the additional trends we're seeing that goes along with the casual environment is the alfresco dining for our members. And the architects took outstanding advantage of the location of the clubhouse and the views produced. So really almost 50% of the dining that we offer is alfresco dining that allows them casual dinners outside, around the fire pit, or on our patio that uh, gives outstanding views of the golf course. The new Expo Kitchen concept, which is so prevalent in all of the restaurants, the popular restaurants, is uh, it creates a little theater in the space. It allows the patrons to see the activity of the culinary staff. Uh, they've embraced it, and they, uh, and, and to this day, they, uh, many, many people who didn't use the club originally find their way to the club for food and beverage uh, opportunities. When you enter the foyer, you come into a very comfortable, spacious foyer, and it leads into our dining areas. We have a mixed grill with a patio and a fire pit out front, and then that works in con concert with uh, our ballroom space, which is divided into three separate uh, rooms that can be expanded and contracted. Uh, that also marry up to the uh, ladies' card room, and we have two lovely uh, locker rooms. Uh, the ladies' locker room, which is very nicely appointed. The interior architecture has hit a home run with the ladies, which is always important. And uh, the gentlemen's locker room is a home run. We have our golf facility downstairs with our carts now located right next to the uh, pro shop. 
and a little turn stand we call the golfer's lounge downstairs. I think what stands out in the facility is the interior architectural details and the craftsmanship that went into finishing this product. It is outstanding. It's one of the first comments we hear from our members when they first saw the facility is the fine attributes of the millwork and the interior finishes. As we all know, when you enter these projects, there's always timing challenges. And uh, we put a date certain and made a commitment to our membership with White's help and assistance, we stuck to those. And that was no small task encountering many of the hurdles that you encounter in a project of this size and scope. We deliver the backdrop that, that sets the expectation and then uh, our, our general managers and CEOs, they deliver the experience to you know, complete the whole process. And so I think uh, that's what's been most rewarding is hearing the accolades that come back is I knew it was going to be good, but not that good. The membership's response to this project has been overwhelming. Uh, the usage has increased uh, by 40% in uh, food and beverage. Uh, golf activity has increased. The smiles on our members' face when they walk in and say, you guys really delivered, is worth all the effort that went into producing this facility. It is remarkable how much more they're using it the enjoyment they're getting out of it, and the sense of intimacy and connection they get with this building 